everyone, welcome to my channel. I uploaded the video about how to speak Thai like a bro quite a while ago. If you haven't watched it, you can check it out by clicking right here. In that video, I briefly talk about how to change the way you speak so you will sound more natural. Today, I'm gonna break down how to learn Thai successfully and effectively and we'll be answering questions that people frequently ask me i'm not saying this as a native speaker but what i'm about to say it's from a teacher who has been teaching thai to non-thais for years i know what it takes from zero to be able to speak thai fluently fluently to me doesn't mean you can speak like a native speaker and get all the right tones fluently to me it's you don't have to think what you're gonna say where you're gonna put this where you're gonna put that in a sentence everything just comes out naturally my first tip it's not related to the language specifically but it's about time and dedication if you think i want to be able to learn thai fast i'll just pay for a private teacher or join a class one or two hours a day twice a week or even less but after you finish the class and you don't revise or learn something else by yourself between the gap and then you expect the progress quickly then you're probably kidding yourself i'm not saying you have to give up something that you currently do if you want to go to the gym then do if you want to do your gut then do if you want to go on a date then do i don't want to give a specific amount of time but if you can't spend at least an hour a day studying it's almost a question of it's whether or not that, that you will give yourself enough progress to keep yourself motivated to go forward so it's about time if you can't find time you have to give something up that you currently do in order to study in thai you know what to prioritize secondly it's commitment you need to be committed you need to be motivated everyone motivation is varies maybe you live in thailand maybe you want to run a business in thailand maybe you want to flirt with that pretty girl in a restaurant whatever your motivation is try to remember that and write it down i'm learning thai because by this day i want to be able to say this 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 is generic tip but motivation it's so so important if you have thai friends or colleagues that motivate you along the way that will really help so number two where should you start i have been asked this question quite often should i learn the alphabet or should i just learn to speak my answer is never a none or the other it depends on your goals of learning Thai. Do you want to learn Thai because you want to travel to Thailand and be able to communicate with taxi drivers, waiters or waitresses to make your trip more enjoyable? Or do you want to run a business in Thailand and want to be able to communicate with your staff? Or you plan to live in Thailand for a long time and want to know about everything in thailand and about the language so what level do you want to learn thai you can't just say i want to learn thai you have to have a crystal clear what are you doing if you have no clue where to start i have broken things down into three simple categories so you have some idea where to put yourself so group one people who want to learn speak fast if you're planning to travel or spend a short period of time in thailand you don't have to learn the alphabet because this take time and you might get overwhelmed the thai alphabet it's totally different from english and european languages thai is a simple grammar language which means you will be able to understand the concept in a short period of time without learning a single letter but what about tones you can use phonetic symbol to help if you make mistakes and pronounce the wrong tone that's totally fine people will understand what you're trying to say by the context anyway tones can be scary to english speakers but think about when you ask a question 
and you emphasize the last word in a sentence and you change the way you speak the last word of a sentence to emphasize it's a question or even just say one word like really it sounds different to really it's just like using tones in the thai language you can do this group two people who want to learn how to read and speak but don't mind if it takes longer to learn the language properly there are two ways to do this is number one learn reading and speaking in the same time there are some pros and cons to do this you might have higher chance to get the right tone and help your pronunciation but it also slow down your progress of speaking number two it's learn speaking first once you get the concept grammar, sentence structure, and then you can start learning the alphabet. Group three, people who want to do both read and write. I have met some people who decided to learn the alphabet first. When they see a word, they can read it, sometimes pronounced correctly, but sometimes pronounced incorrectly. However, when it comes to making a simple statement, you know what? they can't do it and then there are some people who can read but don't want to write by hand this is help you to remember the characters don't be shy about your handwriting it takes time to get neater and faster if you don't practice you will never get to the point where you want to be at so this is an example of my students handwriting the first time when i saw it i was like do you really do it yourself? And he said like, yeah, of course. I was like, oh, this is even more beautiful than mine. On the other hand, I have met a lot of people that can speak Thai fluently but can't read and never learned a single letter. So learning the alphabet is for people who are planning on living in Thailand for a long time and who want to know the actual language but after all as i mentioned earlier it depends on your goals it's just a language that we use to communicate you don't have to be perfect or speak fluently like a native speaker number three utilizing methods what kind of language do you want to learn you don't want to sound like a robot when it comes to real conversation right a lot of people learn from a textbook and attend a class in a school but they teach you the way that nobody really speaks they teach you to speak in an unnatural polite way instead of how people talk on day-to-day -day basis so written thai and spoken thai are different if you are focusing on reading you will speak in a way that you see on a sign or a textbook thai songs are a good way of practice listening but the language it's used in songs it's not the actual way that we speak only some words are the same and again you will never realize until you have said these words and been corrected. I find that commercials, TV programs, and films are the best way to learn how the language is actually spoken. For YouTube channels, there are a ton of choices for you out there to shoot. I'm not gonna recommend any because you already know the best one. The last method is using an app whether it's a free version or paid one but be careful they still teach you useless words and sentences too there are so many ways of learning thai and learning methods are everywhere around you number four record what you learned keep recording what you learn especially in the early day of learning in a notebook a piece of paper or a flashcard app I don't have any particular app to recommend. There are some pros and cons for each app. The last one is try to record your voice. If you want to improve your pronunciation, you have to hear yourself and how it sounds when you speak. Do people will understand me what I'm saying? If the answer is probably not, then you have to adjust the way you speak and observe how 
native speakers actually pronounce them. Keep the record what you have learned. You need to be tracking your progress. If you learn 20 words a day, that's fantastic. But if you don't write them down, if you don't keep a log, then visit those 20. A few days later, you won't know what you have learned because you will have forgotten them by the time you see them again. You will like, oh, that looks familiar, but I can't remember what it was. To remember a word, to remember a piece of vocabulary, you need to be exposed to that word through seeing it, hearing it, writing it, reading it 10-15 times again over again. Depends on who you are, if you are really smart, some people can just look at it and remember instantly. If you can make another connection by linking it with something, of course you remember it quicker. But genuinely you need these words, these new words that you learn several times. And the early day of learning vocab is the key. Just learn vocab. Once you have got thousand words in your head, then start putting them together. And you can start making sentences with them and actually start speaking Thai. Stop translating. When you know enough words and you want to start making a sentence and you compare Thai to English or to your mother tongue, some sentences will make sense when you translate word by word, but usually it doesn't. You have to memorize how to say certain phrases or sentences as the way it is. We just speak it this way. Some people are addicted to translation. They try to translate every single word that they hear. I recommend you stop doing this because when you hear or see something that seems illogical, you will get frustrated and give up eventually. Don't count your hours. Oh, I have been learning Thai for two months now, but I still can't even have a small conversation. If you keep counting how many hours that you have been learning, it will never be enough. You have to learn every single day and always learn something new. If you set yourself one or two hours a week and that's all, that's not enough. If you don't practice, if you don't use it, then what you have learned is just nothing and it's just a waste of time. Don't put yourself under so much pressure. You have to enjoy learning it and see the progress. Don't set goals in a short period of time because it doesn't work like that. Everything takes time. It takes years or a decade, not a week or a month. My last tip is find an online teacher. This is an important one. There is only so far that you can learn from YouTube videos, books, and flashcards. That level is pretty far, but there is going to come to a stage where you want to develop your fluency. If you are not living in Thailand, or you're sick of traveling to your teacher, or you can't surround yourself with native speakers, getting an online teacher it's a really good alternative to improving your speaking skills. You meet for an hour a week, twice a week or whatever you want. Just have a chat and ask their native speakers advice. Advice from a native speaker is invaluable. Those are my 7 tips to learn Thai. I hope they are really useful to you and I hope they make your language learning journey more rapid, more smooth and more enjoyable. That's it for today guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye!